there was a point, I believe, you know, probably in around the late 90s when the game became too physical. Hey, welcome to another MVP podcast. My name is Dale, and today I'm wondering, should there be an asterisk by LeBron's scoring record? Check it out. The NBA took away aggression. Mm -hmm. They took away aggression to open up the Euro League. When they first started getting here, it was too rough for them. Mm -hmm. and they, so they didn't make it. They didn't make it, right? Mm -hmm. So Not eventually, yeah. they softened the rules. They didn't soften the rules for the Americans. They softened the rules to open it up international. Yeah. So when they're saying the Euros is going to run the league in the next five years, why do you think that more threes, pass and cut? This is not our league. This is not the American style. This is the Euro style. So Drive in, suck the defense in, pass the ball to the three-point line. It's a three-point shooting league because they're copying Euro style. San Antonio, I mean, uh, Suns, right? Uh -huh. What was the biggest thing the Suns didn't do? Defense. defense. Ole, let's go. Boom, let's go. Yeah, let's, yep. Seven yeah, seconds. Yep. Right? Seven, seven seconds. Now, seven, now, seven, now seven, everybody, seven seconds. We're, Tony. we don't oh, want to yeah, yeah. foul so we can go try to score. Yeah. Yeah. That was the whole We're going thing of Dan you. Tony. Yeah. Right? That is what the league was created off of, to have more of those guys in so they can expand the business. Mm. Make it a global, global game. So, global game. You remember, push a global game, global game. How they going to have a global game if... It's too physical and too athletic for them. So they have to figure out ways where they can exist inside of the game. Wow. Right? Create wow. more opportunities, bring in more yeah. shooters so they can survive. So these guys can become shooters. He cooking. No, that makes he sense. because They're not ISO players. Like, he cooking. Who, he cooking. who was the best Euro that has handled? No, I swear that makes sense because when he was just talking, I'm like, man, it feels like a lot of the issue is like the game is like a three-point game now. Mm -hmm. So it's like everybody just shooting, 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 shooting. Nobody's really applying too much skill to get to the basket. Mm -hmm. So when everybody's shooting, you really ain't got to guard a motherfucker because they're shooting from the logo. Mm -hmm. Or they shooting from five feet behind the three-point line. So that make a lot of sense. The NBA rule changes having intended effect of increased scoring. That's according to Adam Silver. When I'm watching today's game, I feel like I'm downloading the latest play. And what I mean by that is, you know, obviously we can go through each age and see the game or the game and the style of how it's played. When I watch now, you know, points are like 144, I think I saw the other night, and 125. And I remember being in some all-star games where I think we scored maybe 144, 140. Like, is, is the high scoring working? Is speaking the game up? Um, I asked this with a follow-up because I want to know, will there ever be a time in our lives when the hand check comes back, is that, is that going? Is this kind of the, the wave in which we're going now? I'll answer it coming from the fan in me, which is, and maybe data comes into play here because I can look at television ratings yep. and other measures of yep. interest. Yep. There was a point, I believe, you know, probably in around the late 90s when the game became mm -hmm. too And I think we lost some of from the- From viewers, you mean? Yeah, and I think for our fans, from the aesthetic enjoyment of the game where it de-emphasized the particular skill a player had mm. and maybe weighted too heavily um, physicality, where mm. a big, strong player could come in and prevent a incredibly skilled player from doing those kinds of things. Mm. I think of, not that he's a small guy, but a smaller player like Steph Curry can do on the floor. I think that when you think of some of his ability to shoot, his ability to move mm. through the paint, that if guys could just bang him and knock him to the ground, as that was once the case in the league, right. I don't think that would be a better brand of basketball. Mm. I also think we have to find the right balance, because I know when I sit in the stands or talk to friends sometime, they want to bring back, and we've tried to bring back a little bit more of the physicality. Like, I think people like to see hard defense. I mean, it goes a little bit before to what you and I are talking about, like touch and feel, like yeah. I, I don't think either people like that idea that guys can go through unscathed and like yeah. you're protecting your star players. Yeah. And in fact, you know, we made some changes this season where sort of, I don't know, you know, the, the unnatural basketball gotcha. moves, gotcha. you know what I'm referring yeah. to, and now, where those were being players were gaming the system in a way. Catching and on. And they, brilliant players playing yeah. by the rules, 
had found, found ways where <laughs> those were becoming defensive yeah, fouls. Yeah. So we reset this year, Love which is something you got to do in the offseason. You Love don't want to change mid-course, but Love we made it clear, those players, that that's no longer going to be a foul. Mm. And of course, because they're the greatest players, they adjust right. and they find other ways to score. So, All right, so LeBron is the first 40,000 points. He passed, last year he passed um, Kareem Abdul-Jabbar on the all-time scoring record. But lately there's been chatter about, you know, changing the rules so that the scoring gets slowed down, right? Because in the past, like 20 years, the scoring per game has gone up like 20%, has gone up like 40% because of rule changes, right? It's now at 115 points per game when in the 90s, it was like a 90 something, like 92, 93, 94 per game when Jordan was playing. You would routinely see a game, you know, 95, 91, 89, 90. You know, this, these are the games that I grew up on. But then I guess David Stern and Adam Silver decided that the game needs to be faster and people like points. So they put in all these rules and started to calling the ticky tack fouls all right to get more points on the board and lebron benefited from, from this because he came into the league you know right when the scoring started going on up and i'm gonna have a graphic to show you guys exactly lebron came in i think it was 2003 and you'll see from then just how many points and you'll see that the points per game have just been gradually going up and this is because rules are instated or to make this happen. It's not because the players have more skill like people are always trying to deceive us about. It's because they made rules, all right, that helped the scoring. They wanted more scoring in the NBA. So that's what, and, and that's what they got. All right, it reminds me of the home run record in Major League Baseball because Barry Bonds has it. But many people are saying Barry Bonds is on that juice was on that steroids okay so many people think there's an asterisk beside his home run record even though he hit all those home runs i think 762 so wouldn't it make sense that maybe lebron you know should have an asterisk by his name if the league itself you know gave him an advantage when it came to scoring points an advantage that Michael Jordan did not have and which Kobe did not have either, which led him to do, and the guy he passed, Kareem, didn't have at all. All right, Kareem scored all his points in one of the toughest eras to score. And to do that, you had to have a signature move like his sky hook. You know, so LeBron was able to do this without a signature move and with the use of the three-point line. <laughs> So I don't see how any logical person can really see this as being fair. It's because they have they have every advantage, all right, that those guys in the 80s and 90s did not have to score. And this is how LeBron made it up so quickly to pass that. So I don't so I don't believe that it's fair. Right? You can look at Luca, for example. Luca just turned 25, I think yesterday or the day before, and he has 10,000 points. So I would say he, even he should be able to pass 40,000 points by the end of his career, just based on the amount of points that he has now and how much, you know, he'll get if he continues up to, you know, 38, 39 or something like that. He, got, he has a long way to go. All right. But that is only if they don't change the rules and them thinking about changing the rules right now is a clear indication that something is wrong with the rules and that they want to go back to how it was before, less scoring. So it just proves to you. So nobody can make any argument about it being fair right now or about the scoring being on a level playing ground when it comes to the 80s and 90s and now. It's obviously easier to score now or else they wouldn't be contemplating changing the rules. All right, They're not talking about, oh, let's get less skilled players in the game. They're talking about let's change the rules. 
proving that the rules is the reason why people are scoring like this. So, you let me know what you think in the comments. Should there be an asterisk by LeBron's name or not? So, until next time.